Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Ape Pancho back at you again with another video. And so we've got some stories that I want to take you guys through that are coming out of the capital that have happened over this past weekend. First, we'll start off with the extremely sad story of a young man who decided to put his own life on the line in order to save another person. On 24th of April 2021, just after midnight, emergency services had been called to the River Thames close to London Bridge as a woman had been in the river. Again, there's no official reports to claim why the woman had jumped into the river. What happens next is, follow Jimmy Adewale and another man jump straight into the river without even thinking twice in the hopes of saving this woman. It's believed that it was his natural instinct to act out rather than to call for emergency services. According to a City of London police spokesperson, they would come out to say that when they arrived at the scene, the woman and the man were located by emergency services and were rescued whilst Fuller Jimmy hadn't been found until six hours later after a huge search and rescue mission and when they found him, unfortunately, he would go on to be pronounced dead. Follow Jimmy, known locally as Jimmy, was said to have been incredibly kind-hearted, and as you can see from his actions, he was extremely heroic. Because to put yourself on the line like he did without even thinking twice of his own life just goes to show you what kind of person he really was, because it's pretty rare nowadays that you'd see someone spring into action in order to save the life of another human being. Jimmy was also close friends with rappers 3 8 and Earls, who we've taken a look at on the channel before as well and they've recently paid tribute to him on social media once they found out the tragic news of their friend's death. A GoFundMe has been set up which I do want to leave linked down in the description below. Feel free to go and give that a read and if donating is something that you can do then feel free to do so. It would be appreciated massively. But again for Jimmy and this other man to go out of their way to save this woman's life in the Thames which is known to be extremely dangerous especially at that time of night. You have to commend them for their actions so i do want to take this time out just to say rest in peace to follow jimmy and i do want to send my condolences over to his family and friends but moving on to our next story and for this next one we've got to head over to hackney where at around 10 53 p.m on the 23rd of april 2021 emergency services had been called to the cake and custard factory to reports of a shooting. When they arrived, they found two 19-year-olds. One was suffering from gunshot injuries, whilst the other was suffering from stab injuries. Both were taken to hospital via ambulance, but neither of their conditions are being classed as life-threatening. As it stands right now, the Trident Area Crime Command have opened an investigation into the incident, but no one has been arrested and inquiries are ongoing. Of course, that was a few days ago, but as of right now, we don't have any further updates into this situation. And all we can say for sure is that for these two 19 year olds, thankfully they pulled through this situation because this could have been two deaths we reported on had the stabbing and shooting been fatal. But moving on to our last story, and for this next one, we've got to head over to Canning Town in Newham, East London, where we're getting reports that a 14 year old boy has been murdered over an electric scooter. At around 4 pm, emergency services had been called to Barking Road in Newham to reports of a stabbing. When emergency services arrived at the scene only five minutes after that call had been made, they came across a child who's been named as 14-year-old Ferezma II, and he would unfortunately go on to be pronounced dead at the scene. Witnesses to the scene have alleged that the stabbing was done via a samurai sword, with a friend of Ferez saying in a since-deleted Instagram post, that was my boy, it was done with a samurai sword. Speaking of the incident, Ferez's friend claimed that he died while protecting him from a group who then took his scooter. He said that Ferez had dropped to the ground after allegedly being stabbed, adding, I looked at you bro, thinking they really got him. But the most recent news we got out of this story was that a 14 year old and a 15 year old boy were being held by police on suspicion of murder and the 14 year old boy, believe it or not, was in fact charged with murder and he was also accused of possession of an offensive weapon. I'm unsure if he's been charged with that offence because reports don't claim whether he's been charged or not but he was arrested for that offence as well. The 15 year old on the other hand though, although he was arrested, he's since been released on bail. Also the Metropolitan Police have put out a statement that although reports are claiming this could have potentially been over an e-scooter robbery, they're still keeping an open mind as to what the motive behind the attack was. This is Detective Chief Inspector Perry Benton talking of the incident. Yesterday evening, shortly before four o'clock, um, 
Barris uh, was um, coming down Barking Road with a friend uh, where they came across a group of individuals. Um, Barris uh, was attacked by at least two males um, and he received fatal injuries. We spent a long time um, here last night trying to identify um, any witnesses and gather as much evidence as we can. Um, we have made uh, three arrests in connection with the, the uh, investigation. Uh, and those people are being um, interviewed as we speak. Obviously the impact on the community is, is devastating the community. Um, I've got specially trained officers working with uh, Farris's family um, and they're supporting them as best we can, but they're absolutely devastated by what happened. Um, I've got a team of detectives that are working around the clock to try and identify those responsible and try and get justice for Farris's family. Um, but this, uh, an incident like this um, you know, has sent shockwaves through the community because it's another young person who's tragically lost his life in the most awful circumstances, in broad daylight, um, you know, shortly before four o'clock, um, where and he should be able to be able to walk the streets um, safe. Um, but unfortunately, um, those responsible have, have obviously, um, you know, cruelly taken away a much loved son um, from and a much loved friend from from his friends and family. So I'm, I'm appealing for anyone who's got any information to come forward um, and support the investigation to help us identify those responsible and get justice for Faris. Um, anyone who's got any information, either that they witnessed the incident or if they've got any information about who's responsible, they can contact the incident room or they can contact Crime Stoppers where it's anonymous. But I want to break that wall of silence. I want people to feel confident that they can trust the police, they can contact me. Uh, we will listen to anyone who has any information um, and treat it in strictest confidence. But I need people to be reassured that we will um, do everything we can to get justice for Ferris's family. Um, because they deserve to know what happened, who's responsible, and, and they deserve justice. Harris was, um, you know, 14 years old. Um, he had his whole life ahead of him. He, his family had been devastated. This, this um, unfortunately, this tragic incident has, you know, changed their lives forever. You know, um, my heart goes out to their family. Um, my heart goes out to his friends. And it's pretty crazy to think that a 14-year-old child has been charged with the murder of another 14-year-old child. Of course, because it's so early on in the case, we do have to say that it's alleged, but we do have to take into account that these are children at the end of the day, and we've got one child's life being taken away and again this 14 year old boy has been charged if he then goes on to be found guilty at a trial or decides to plead guilty to the charge that means another 14 year old child will lose his life and recently we've seen prison reforms where child killers will now get sentenced to life sentences and again this means for this 14 year old child if he does get found guilty of murder he's potentially facing life in jail and to be 14 years old and to be facing life in jail is just absolutely mind-blowing to say the least but i do want to take this time out just to say rest in peace to Ferez, and i do want to send my condolences over to his family and friends but let me know what you guys think of this down in the comment section below. Give the video a little like. And if you want the latest drill, street and music news out of the UK, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's been your boy 8 Punch Show, and I'm out.